We continue to track rain and a small risk for severe weather. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Looking at temperatures here, we have warm fronted, and that's why we are in the 60s, even a couple 70s here in the Delmarva Peninsula as we go through the day today. And I voted. I hope you did too. And because of this warm front, you won't need any jacket for today if you are heading out to the poles, but you will want the umbrella. Also note, these clouds that we have here is actually preventing our severe out weather from being a more concerning factor for our day today. If we had sunshine here, which is typical of when warm fronts pass, we would have more juice to promote the severe weather. However, we are cloudy because we did get the rain from our system moving in a little earlier, and that's why we have been cloudy, gray, and close to raw here for our Tuesday. 1 p.m. today, we have that line of showers and possibly a couple thunderstorms rolling on through. That gets out of here by about 4 p.m. Then we can see a lingering shower through the p.m. commute, and then by the time we get towards 10 o'clock, we are really drying out. We have a northwesterly breeze blowing, and that will continue into the night. Turning to severe weather threats, I bumped down the wind threat to not ruled out. And that's because even though we have very strong winds here across the area at about the 5,000 foot layer, it doesn't look like it's going to transfer down to the surface because of the cloud cover we saw for today. However, tornadoes still not going to rule one out, about a 2% chance. That's what the Storm Prediction Center has for our area. And there will be areas of isolated roadway flooding as well. We saw a lot of rain yesterday. We will see a good chunk of rain again today. And we already have seen that as we've gone through our election day. Ballot cast for you here, 70 degrees in Galloway, 68 in Atlantic City. We have the rain and it will be gusty even without any damaging wind gusts. We'll be talking about gusts in the 20s to 30s throughout the day. We go over to Cumberland County. Cold front comes through quickest here, so that's why temperatures don't have a chance to really get into the warm sector, only in the mid-60s, still above average for this time of year, and we'll continue that into Ocean County as well. Low temperatures for tonight, also mild for early November, in the low 50s here. So you can put up the windows and let the breeze roll on in for the overnight hours. Maybe one of our last times to do so here of 2018. For Wednesday, same story. Temperatures in the mid-60s, lots of sunshine to go around, a little bit breezy at times, but overall very comfortable here across the area. Mainland seven-day forecast, we're going to cut and paste from what we have on Wednesday right into Thursday. We just dropped the temperatures down a little bit, and then we go into Friday. We have something called a double-barreled low coming through, and that's two areas of low-pressure systems, one along the East Coast, another one up the spine, the Appalachian Mountains. Shouldn't be a washout, but I do believe the second half of the day will be wet, carries over into Friday night, and then the weekend, look at this, wintry. As we get into Veterans Day, only 49 degrees for our high, our first hard freeze of 2018's fall is likely on Saturday night. Continue with the below average temperatures on Sunday night. And then we're watching for a coastal storm at the beginning of next week. Short seven day forecast, same story. Temperatures a little milder as we go into the weekend. And notice the overnight lows still staying above average here. We typically don't get our first freeze for the area until about next week. So we might be on target, especially with any cooler air after any potential coastal storm Monday and to Tuesday. We'll have another update for you later today. In the meanwhile, you can follow me on social media. We're talking about politics. We're talking about weather, all good stuff here in South Jersey. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Joe Mark WX for more, as well as Twitter at AC Press Martucci or depressiveac.com slash weather.